lovelies welcome back to ug update so guys on this video we're gonna be talking about my desire series we're gonna be talking about my desire series and we'll be talking about an upcoming episode which is gonna be happening in my desire series and that was about cash v questioning nitya guys let's find out what really went down on this episode but before that please don't forget it's still UG updates in case if you are yet to subscribe please click on the subscription button and subscribe don't also forget to give the video a thumbs up all right guys let's dive straight into the video please the episode starts with kajwi gets upset seeing her college students celebrating and recalling surat and Packard's friends molesting her so Adun joins her and says those boys are enjoying and cheering up themselves she need not to worry he assures her that he is always there for her and calms her down. A romantic song plays in the background, then Kajvi says she is fine now and asks Adun to leave her hand. Adun says he can but doesn't want to, so she smiles at him. Adun gets the inspector's call who informs that they arrested Suraj and Pankaj and he should read the police station with Kajvi to finish further formalities. So Adun informs him to Kajvi and assures her again that he will always be with her. So they both read the police station where Aruna yells at the police not to arrest her innocent sons. Then the inspector warns her to keep her mouth shut. He thanks Mr. Shama for getting Pankaj and Surat arrested. Then Adun asks Shama how did he know Pankaj and Surat's location. But Shama says they were forcefully trying to hide in his house and threatening to kill his family. So he risked his and her family life and informed the police about their location. So Suraj and Pankaj say that Shama is lying, he is the mastermind who provoked them to harm Kajvi and gave them shelter in his house. Aruna says her sons don't lie, so Shama must have provoked them for sure. So the inspector says her children are not kids to get provoked easily or abuse someone. Shama risks his life and got them arrested, so Shama looks at Nitya and recalls Nitya suggesting him to get Suraj and Pankaj arrested to divert Kajvi's attention from them. The police throw Surat and Pankaj behind bars and then Aruna assures to get them released using Nitya's professional status. Kajvi walks to Nitya and says she didn't expect her to lie. So Nitya gets there thinking if she found out the truth and asks what did she lie. So Kajvi says she lied to her that the commissioner is out of time, why she saw him today. Nitya wants her to lower her tone and says the commissioner was out of town and came a day earlier. She has fixed an appointment with him in the evening to discuss about Sam and Nayan's mother case. Then Kajvi apologizes to her and then Nitya relaxes. Kajvi returns to college then Adun asks where was she as he was worried for her. She asks him to relax and keep her finger over his lips. So he looks into her eyes and says they are so beautiful then they get nervous and says he is her husband and best friend and can speak like that. He then asks her again where she had been, then she said to meet Nitya. He asks why. Then, on another scene, Aruna cries looking at her son's photo. Then Nitya walks to her and acts as if she was controlling her. Then Aruna pleads her to get her sons out of jail and promises to leave the city with her sons and not trouble Nitya again. Then Nitya asks her to freshen up and have food. She will find some way to get them out of jail. So Kajvi informs Arjun about her suspicion towards Aruna in her parents' murder case and describes how she found multiple evidences against Aruna and Nitya a facing the meeting tonight with the commissioner to discuss about the case. So Arjun says he will not let her go on alone and will accompany her as he is worried for her. They meet the commissioner and Kajvi shows him all the evidences against Aruna but then the commissioner says it's not enough to prove Aruna guilty. So Nitya says she started her investigation and asked Nishama to locate Madame G via her mobile number found in Biju's mobile, but her phone is switched off. So Shama walks in and says Madame G's phone is on now and he found her location. Guys, this is what went down on this episode. I can see that Kajvi went on to question Nitya, but Nitya was tense thinking that Kajvi has found out the truth about Samrat and Nayatra's mother. But guys, notwithstanding, it's still not going to be taking long for the real copy to be exposed. Please drop what you think guys on the comment section. As you do that, please don't forget, it's still UG updates. In case if you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscription button and subscribe. Don't also forget to give the video a thumbs up. Alright guys, that will be a wrap. Thank you guys for watching up to this point. You guys have been amazing. I love you guys and I will see you guys on my next video.